All right, we are going to take live this look at 72nd and Dodge. We've been watching this feed right here and we did see quite a bit more tear gas being deployed and some people running in that direction. John Kipper is still live at the scene. John, can you tell us what you were seeing out there? Yeah, I fucking love it. yeah Jenny, uh, it just happened in the last minute or so. We saw multiple um, tear gas explosions, people just heading right over to our um, where we're standing here in the Target parking lot. Um, so now we have hundreds of people kind of just walking our direction and <coughs> I can uh, I can definitely um, feel the tear gas as you can definitely feel it in your mouth. It's not even all that close to us right now. Um, if you just want to hear the audio, people coughing, um, people got hit pretty good. Our photographer, Wade Lux, says he believes someone might have got, actually got hit by that tear gas um, grenade or again, I don't know the correct lingo, but um, yeah, you can definitely smell it now. People coughing. It's um, we keep saying it's getting it's escalating, it's escalating, but Jenny, seemingly every time it's escalating more. Yeah, Omaha police saying earlier they're using the least amount of force possible. We just saw someone take off a shirt there. A lot of times people are taking off clothing to breathe into. We could see people walking by coughing, rubbing their eyes, um, and John, I was wondering, you know, earlier this evening, we saw hundreds, if not more than a thousand people out there. Do you think this crowd has has lessened at all? It's obviously still a large crowd out there. That's a good question. It's hard to tell because obviously the crowd just keeps changing. Sometimes they're in one big cluster. Sometimes they're scattered. I think overall there may be a few less people and I have definitely seen some people decide to leave, but there's a large group of here that have been here for quite some time. I'm guessing some people have just recently arrived um, when they realized that a lot was pop like going on. We do see one right now, one man just holding his face. Um, looks like he might have been the one or one of the people that got hit um, by something that the police is using. Um, but yeah, Jenny, it's just hard to tell exactly how many people came after things escalated, how many people left. It's unclear, but still, I would say hundreds of hundreds, if not thousands here. Yeah, and the divide we seem to be seeing is we see the officers in the riot type gear in the street and it seems like John, so that's the thing, they're trying to keep them off of the road there. Is that correct? Yeah, that's that's been the battle the whole time and um, people just didn't want to get off the street. And originally this protest wasn't planned to be on the street. It was planned just to kind of be in the area, but I'm sure police knew that this was a possibility. And again, it goes to the question, you know, who ultimately let, who went on the street first? Was it the people that decided to hop on or did police start to shut stuff down? Um, and that's when people just started to resist. It's it's unclear and we'll never know, but pretty bizarre scene, right? One of the busiest intersections in Omaha, dozens of police officers in riot gear, like you say. You know, we hear chanting from time to time, but is there anyone, um, have we seen or heard anyone like with a megaphone trying to get a message out or trying to talk to talk to the people or is it more just the individuals just chanting on their there own? There have been a few. Uh, like it, Not necessarily with a the megaphone. There were a lot of protesters here that were telling people to stop throwing water bottles. Um, one of them that was telling people this was one that said he actually got hit by a rock. Um, so protesters are actually you know hurting other protesters. Um, but there hasn't been one overall message. I have seen a few megaphones, a few scattered messages. In fact, I've seen, I mean, I've seen a couple state senators here, Michaela Kavanaugh, Justin Wayne is actually one with the megaphone. Um, I didn't see him use it at all, uh, but just all sorts of different various messages going on. Um, no one clear thought. Yeah, we're just watching in a little bit. If you're just tuning in, this is a live picture from the area of 72nd and Dodge. It looks like most of these people are back in the Target parking lot, if you're familiar with that area. Omaha police has put out the word that they do not want any more people coming to this area. Uh, protest tonight. This is a protest because of the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis. Um, so you see a lot of signs out there, Black Lives Matter. Um, I can't breathe. I believe we saw there stop killing black people. Some of the signs there and it, for a lot of this time, uh, peaceful protest. And then there's been a bit of a standoff of sorts of Omaha police lined up with the protesters then lined up to um, John Kipper did have pretty incredible video, though, that he posted on Twitter at one point where we saw a line of the officers going down the street. John, can you describe what, what was happening earlier tonight when that went down? Yeah, for sure. So 
essentially, I mean, it, it not without getting too much into it, at some point there were some scatterings of police throwing tear gas, but when it really, I think, escalated, and I could tell, I told our fellow reporter, John Madden, who's gathering video here as well, is you need to get down here. Because about 75th in Dodge area, kind of that Rose Blumkin turn, um, police just started, they were all in riot gear, there were dozens of them, and they just started to slowly march east. And there were several protesters that were not budging, that were just sitting in the middle of the street. Um, and eventually, police got to these protesters. They were shooting um, rubber bullets on the ground to try to get them up. Some still weren't moving, and so some police physically just toppled them over. And that's kind of what the video uh, that I captured. And then from there, people did just slowly and surely move back towards the intersection of 72nd and Dodge with the help of more tear gas and things of that nature um, as police were just pushing, pushing. And this is the time where I got multiple uh, blasts of tear gas in my eyes. And um, that, thankfully, I didn't get anything too harsh. I wasn't right in the middle of it, but I was pretty close to some where, uh, where, where, where we definitely got some blasts. So, yeah, it was, uh, it, it was a pretty bizarre situation that doesn't seem to be quite ending. And that is, that is the question. That's why I was kind of asking if people were sharing a message because as you, you said earlier, it, it does seem like one of those situations of when, how does this end and that this protest is, is still going on. People obviously still um, passionate about the reasons why they are out here tonight demonstrating and protesting. And, and of course, it, it, at this point, it has been a little bit of a, a standoff of sorts, again, of police allowing people to be in certain areas but not others but um, a lot of activity for sure 72nd and Dodge and of course we are seeing scenes like this throughout the country tonight um, more violent much more violent scenes in some places as well Minneapolis again experiencing large numbers of fires tonight even though they are under curfew um, but this is here in Omaha 72nd and Dodge And it sounds like we might have lost John Kipper's audio. We're waiting to hear from some other reporters who are li live on the scene as well. We've had a, a few reporters down there gathering from different directions. And it looks like John Madden is trying to get in front of the camera, but it looks like it also froze up a little bit. Um, so we will continue to try to get that live shot for you. Um, again, Omaha police telling people to stay out of this area. This is earlier, so this is when it started around 6 p.m., very peaceful. And then you see here, this is the tear gas that was deployed. Um, and, and John Kipper mentioned that you just saw a young man throw a water bo bottle in the area of the officers so that um, that was happening again. I don't know which happened first and all that, but officers were moving down and then um, some some people were throwing water bottles and then there was more tear gas as well. Reporter John Madden is also live at the scene and I understand we have his live shot. Second in Dodge right now, still uh, in the parking lot and the scene is kind of cleared up a little bit, but there's still a lot of people here. I've uh, been walking up and down Dodge Street trying to talk with people about what happened and uh, I spoke with one guy who said he got hit with uh, some tear gas and he said that it was so intense when he got hit that he felt like he was going to die. His eyes were bloodshot, he was drooling, he had tears coming out of his eyes. Uh, I spoke with another person, uh, a girl who had got hit with tear gas as well and kind of the same thing. Um, there seems to be a lot of commotion right now, people keep running back and forth. Um, it's kind of hard to explain everything that's going on because there's so much that's going on. and. Uh, and kind of look there's been uh, mortar shells that have been going off within the crowd and uh, people have been throwing stuff at the cops <laughs> the tear gas I can, I can taste it in the back of my throat it makes you cough it makes you uh makes your nose no run justice, no pee. and it's uh it's not a pleasant experience so a bunch of people have been uh getting hit with it people have been throwing mortar shells into the crowd of the cops and uh you just hear random explosions going on. It's uh, it's pretty crazy. It's uh, it's not fun being out here. Um, I haven't seen anybody get arrested. I haven't seen anyone uh, really be injured besides the people that got hit with the tear gas. But uh, other than that, we're gonna spin around right now. Give you kind of a look at what's going on over here.
Hey John, we are still Okay, on. still out here on 72nd and Dodge. Uh, trying to give you an idea of what's going on right now. A lot of people haven't uh, kind of going back to their cars in this Target parking lot, but uh, it's been a been a pretty crazy scene ever since I got here at 845 and obviously it started a lot sooner than that. Uh, the police are still down on 72nd and Dodge, really just blocking that intersection, not allowing cars to go through, uh, preventing protesters from coming through as well. Uh, I've spoken with a few people who have been hit with tear gas tonight. Um, I've gotten some uh, whiffs of it as I've been walking up and down Dodge Street and uh, it'll make you cough, it makes your eyes water. It's, it's not uh, it's not anything that you would want to have to go through. Um, the people that I spoke with talked about how intense it was when they got hit with it. Uh, one guy was uh, bloodshot eyes, snot coming out of his nose, kind of drooling. Lots of people are still walking towards the target, not quite sure what's going on. I'm just gonna kind of hang back here. But um, yeah, a lot of people have kind of cleared out, but it seems like the majority of people are really around in this parking lot right now. A couple of people I spoke with also told me that uh, they were trying to be peaceful, but people were ended up throwing stuff at the cops. I saw people throw water bottles and here comes some here comes some cops right now walking into the Target parking lot. Walking into the Target parking lot. Looks like, the, looks like they're kind of heading towards the front of the building at Target. Not sure if people are not sure if people are trying to uh, get into the Target or what. This Target is actually the Target was actually closed earlier because of uh, safety concerns. <laughs> Just gonna kind of give you a look right now. What's going on? <coughs> Tear gas making me still makes me cough. Not quite sure really what's going on in the front of the building. I assume people are trying to get in or break windows or something. I've seen people throw rocks. People are continuing to throw water bottles. <coughs> we are seeing a lot of people then run out of that way, out of that direction. So obviously, as the police are per approaching the building, this is. Uh, looks like trooper on the back of that, so it looks like we're talking about police and uh, state patrol probably. Um, and it looks like they're lining the front then of this target, this target at 72nd and Dodge. Um, I'm seeing smoke again. I wasn't sure if that was tear gas or just um, some other smoke. Um, but a lot of people obviously now, so the protest started lining the streets. Then uh, people were walking down the streets a bit, and now um, a lot of people have moved into this Target parking lot. Um, and it, it, it appears how the officers are positioning themselves, whether this is warranted or not. Um, the officers are positioning themselves in a way to uh, protect the building. This is previous video. We talked about the tear gas. Um, and if we could go live to the live picture again, it, Okay, because I wanted to show that because it looks like a lot of tear gas was just let off again near the target. Um, but the video, we can see there was another uh, instance where there was tear gas deployed and then um, the protesters were there in the street. So that seems to be it. The officers are, are um, pushing back. Here we go. This is what I was talking about. The tear gas was just deployed. So uh, if you're just tuning in, we had had and shown um, the protest, the rally going on at the intersection of 72nd and Dodge. Then as officers were trying to disperse the crowd out of the road, it appeared the crowd started moving more into the parking lot. A lot of people close to the building, the target buildings. So we saw a group of officers going against the target and then deploying tear gas. We might come and go with our audio. Some of that is to make sure that we are not hearing any um, foul language. Uh, as, as obviously that, that does happen from time to time with large crowds. So um, we are watching though now as more and more people are still going in this parking lot. The one thing I can't get a grasp on right now is we see a lot of people going to this parking lot where obviously a lot of vehicles are parked. I'm not sure if a lot of people are also trying to leave the scene. We do see 
quite a few people coming to this area um, and following each other, but I don't know if a lot of people are, are trying to leave as well. Obviously, some people are trying to go toward the building. Um, area of 72nd and Dodge tonight, protesters, they started at 6 p.m. tonight. It was a rally, a demonstration, they said, for injustice um, after what had happened in Minneapolis regarding George Floyd. I was just looking at the person standing up closer to the building up on the vehicle. It looks like he's on some sort, of, it's some sort of vehicle there closer to the front of the building of Target. But again, we did see the officers, more than a dozen of them, from what I could tell from the video, um, go to the front of the building and they are positioned all along. When they got there, they then started deploying tear gas to, to get people to back away. Our crew has been keeping a bit of a distance, so they did not see whether or not anyone had done anything to the front of the building to, to cause that reaction. Um, and and it, we had someone on Facebook Live earlier asking, hey, get closer. Our crew is trying to stay safe while bringing you the latest information too. So that's, that's part of that where they are going to back away to keep themselves in a safe position too. Notice how one of those signs though, it said George Floyd. It also said Bear Heels. Bear Heels, of course, was an Omaha in custody death that happened a few years ago. Um, there were a few officers involved in that. One officer has not been reinstated, but three have. So some people had said on social media that they were here to protest not just George Floyd, but other in custody deaths, including the death of Zachary Bearheels here in Omaha years ago. Chief Chod Todd Schmatter had said earlier this week that while Omaha has had issues in the past, as a police department, they have a great relationship with the community and they are working to maintain that. We are going to continue following this and we will be right back after this. All right, if we can stay on this shot for a second, it, it, John Kipper's audio wasn't working the best, but we want to show you what had happened. So John Kipper and our photographer had repositioned himself. That's the broken window you're seeing there. This is the target at 72nd and Dodge. So what had happened was there was a large crowd of people who made their way to the Target parking lot. Um, and we saw people in that area, a bit of a crowd situation. And then uh, John Kipper went and he saw that this window had been broken out. Around that time, we then noticed uh, this group of officers come deploy tear gas and line the Target right there. People then did disperse. Uh, John Kipper was reporting that um, police were now sh were shooting rubber bullets um, at people in the area as well. So definitely making sure people got back. Um, of course, uh, we know this target had closed earlier today because they knew that this protest was happening. The audio, I believe, has been fixed. So let's go live to John Kipper. Yeah, Jenny, right now we're in front of Target on 72nd and Dodge and Protesters have broken a window, but after that, police pushed them back. Um, essentially, what happened was I saw protesters heading this direction. I ran over here. A few police officers were already guarding the building. More came along. People started to um, throw things towards the building. Water bottles, clearly something a little harder than a water bottle, breaking the top right window on target. From there, police began to frequently spray rubber bullets. People sprinted out of the way, including myself and then we're able to get a handle on the situation. The worry now is many said they were heading towards Best Buy, which is just to the west of here. Um, so unclear if police are also guarding that building or not. Uh, so obviously a very fluid situation. Yeah, John, that is a, a good point. I mean, this area, as everyone in the Omaha area knows, is has a lot of businesses in this area. We obviously know it's a huge po police presence down there. Um, I had seen that possibly some surrounding agencies were, were coming in to help. We know State Patrol was coming in to help, as well as uh, Omaha Police State Patrol helicopter was, was involved, as was um, uh, Omaha Police helicopter. I, it looks like, for the most part, 
police officers there. Hey, John, ha have the protesters pretty much left this parking lot now, though? Yeah, still here in front of Target on 72nd and Dodge. Nothing has really changed since last time we were over there. Um, police still guarding the building as some protesters still hover over. The worry now is they headed towards the Best Buy store just west of here. Uh, I will head over there as soon as I get a chance to to see if anything's developed. It's also unclear um, if exactly police are over there or not. Uh, so obviously a very fluid situation here. Um, the right window in Target has been broken. Nothing else seemingly was broken after that. Uh, so we'll just see how the night plays out. If I was seeing it correctly, it looked like actually two windows at Target had been broken. One was a lower one and one was a higher one there. One thing to note, a lot of people look appear to be leaving the scene here. So that is one thing to note here near the area of 72nd in Dodge, but obviously all across the country tonight. A lot of people with anxiety and feelings of wanting to be heard are showing up in different communities. This one is here in Omaha, and uh, it's something we will continue to follow. It's something we will be following and be bringing you throughout the weekend and into the evening. You can always find the latest on our website, 3newsnow.com and social media. But thank you for watching tonight, and please be safe.